This is the tiny Mediterranean island of Gabri Horma. Latitude 39 degrees north, longitude 3 degrees east. 150 miles from the coast of Spain. Mitchell Campion's magic island. And who is Mitchell Campion? Well, everyone who knows him, that is, those who are really close to him, think of him as a perfectly normal, average American male. But do they know everything about him? Possibly, um, for me. Uh, we have no room, senor. Ah, senor Campion. Why, yes, for senor Campion, we will always have a room. We will find a room. Let me see. Senor Rodriguez, he will leave about two o'clock, I see. See, how do you know my name? Uh, but of course, I remember. Oh, remember what? Why, you, senor. I beg your pardon? Well, it is only one month since you left. No, no, no. You confused me with somebody else. Hey, is it uh, too early for lunch? I'm starving. No, well, the dining room is open, as always. I'll leave my bag here for now, all right? See. Si. Good. Hey, how did you know my name? No, entiendo. I do not understand, senor. Okay, never mind. Si, senor. Senor Campion. Bienvenido. It is so good to see you again. Sit down, sit down. Uh, and for this time of day, your usual, uh, uh, how you say, uh, brunch. I remember, no? Well, uh, look, uh, miss, I, uh... Uh, momentito. You see, Carla, remember? A and one already prepared uh, the ham and the eggs. Uh, uh, how, how you call it? Uh, country style. Uh, look, uh, look, just, just a minute. Si, senor? I, I appreciate all this special attention, but uh, I'm afraid you made a mistake. Ah, uh, the tomato juice. I it is not as you like it. Well, yes, as a matter of fact, that's just the way I like it, but... Uh, well, you don't understand. I don't know how you know my name or how you happen to know how I like my ham and eggs or any of it, but uh, I'm not whoever you think I am. You are not Senor Campion? Well, yes, I am. Senor Mitchell Campion from Ohio. Yes, but uh, I've never been on this island before in my life. Never. Don't you understand? Ah, si, claro, of course, I understand. You have never been here before. No, 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 really. I have really never been here before. No, I don't know how you know so much about me, or, but believe me, I have never been here. <laughs> of course, Claro, I understand. You have never been here before. <laughs> I've never been here before. What? Oh, this is ridiculous. Uh, uh, Machacho. Si, senor. How long have you been working here? Working here? Uh, two years, senor. And have you ever seen me before? Mm, no, senor. Nunca. That's a relief. Why doesn't Senor Campion want to be recognized? Oh, who knows? Take that upstairs, huh? <laughs>
Uh, give me a beer. Oh, I'll make it a cognac. Miguel, you did come back. I knew you would. I told them oh, wait, you look, would. Look, there's been some sort of mistake. Mistake? I don't mean to offend you. I, I can't imagine what's causing all this confusion, but I know, I know you honestly think you know me, but believe me, I have never seen you before in my life. <laughs> Miguel, what is it? What is what? Miguel! No, 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 my name is not Miguel. It isn't? Well, I beg your pardon, Mr. Campion. Now tell me, why did you come back? Oh, now, what is this? What is this? Some sort of joke or what? A joke? What? Some of us here did not find it very funny. Who? What are you talking about? I, for instance, I did not oh, find it very what, funny. What didn't you find very funny? <laughs> now, look, I arrived here this morning. I've never been here before oh, in my life. Yes. Well, what do you want? Miguel, are you all right? Well, you must forgive me. Gino, you know how he is. After all, he's Francesca's brother. You must understand the house. Stand, I understand all right. Everybody on this island is insane. Miguel! Wait! Say, si, senor, you said I was here before, last month. Well, apparently everybody on this idiotic island agrees with you. Si, senor? Yeah, but I wasn't. I can prove it. Now, take a look in your register and show me my name any day before today. Caribbean? Well, this thing I ever heard of. Even if there was somebody who looked like me.
I know you. I do. Francesca. Is it true, Miguel? You really do not remember? I don't know. And Alexis told me I could not believe it. Alexis? Have you been ill? Is that it? Alexis. What? Or is it that you prefer not to remember? Look. Why did you leave? Why did you not say something? I don't know what I'm supposed to... Why did you come back? Come back? Do you want me to tell you that it was all a mistake? That it was not you, that it could not have been? Do you want me to release you? All oh, right. I do. You have no responsibility here. You can go. You can forget it all. Forget what? No, please, forget what? Oh, Miguel, please! <laughs> Try to be patient with me. I'm... I'm all mixed up. All I, I know is, ever since I set foot on this island, people have acted like they know me. I thought at first they were mistaking me for somebody else. The moment I saw you, uh, the moment I saw you, it was like, like a door beginning to open on a, a room that I know somehow. Corazon, please. Corazon, no, no. Corazon. Si. Si, Corazon. Si. Miguel? I do not understand, senor. Your name is not here. Well, it's got to be. You said I was here, didn't you? See, si. It's the law. Every guest has to sign the register, isn't it? See. Si. Well, where is it? I want to see it. Your name is not there, senor. Do you not insist uh, you are not here? That you are never here before today? Why isn't it here? Why? I don't know, senor. I don't understand. You still say I was here, don't you? Don't you? Of course you were here. I was. I was. There must be proof somewhere. Somewhere. Monsieur, we are closing. Uh, check your passenger list. I know my name must be on it. Mitchell Campion. Monsieur, we have no passenger list. We only sell tickets. One way or round trip. That is all. Oh. Well, maybe whoever sold me the ticket or somebody on the ship might remember me. Do you have a passport? Yeah. Yes, sir. If you were here last month from a foreign country, it will be stamped by authorities. What is it, Monsieur Campion? What do you want? Want I... Your passport was issued in New York City on the 14th of June, 10 days ago. You could go nowhere before that. <laughs> Game there no, is no, 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 please, play. please, listen to me. I'm not playing any game. Now, something is terribly wrong. I know I've never been on this island before in my life. I couldn't have been, but... But what? Francesca. I've, I've seen her. I know her. And a lot of other things. This, this place. And you. 
Miguel, are you saying the truth? You really do not remember? That's just it. I feel like I'm going out of my mind. I couldn't have been here. Not possibly. And yet, more and more, I'm sure I was. I think you are ill, Miguel. No, 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 no. It has nothing to do with that. Now, look. Look. Look at my passport, Alexis. It's dated June the 14th. That's ten days ago. Ten days ago, I have never been out of the United States in my life. Now, can't you see? I couldn't have been. You say, Miguel, you remember things. Can you remember this? That snapshot was taken here over a month ago. Over a month ago. God, Alexis. What is this? I don't know, Miguel. Oh, well, there has to be a logical answer. I mean, a man can't be in two places at the same time. No, that does not seem logical. And yet, here we are. Are you sure, Miguel? Are you absolutely sure that it couldn't have been here and, let's say, forgotten? Forgotten how? Amnesia. Something. Anything. Perhaps there was another passport. Oh, perhaps. No, no. But you were here. Yes, yes, I believe that. But I also know that I couldn't possibly have been. I was in a hospital in Paxton, Ohio, during the time you say I was here. I was in a hospital almost a month. And I was unconscious most of that month. Unconscious. I was in a bad automobile accident. Believe me, I, I couldn't have walked two steps out of that bed even if I'd wanted to. Miguel, why have you come here now? Well, uh, I was discharged from the hospital. The, the doctor ordered a long rest. But why this island? This is not the usual tourist place. about it a long time ago, and I, I guess it stuck in my mind. And the first time you left the United States, you came right here. Why? Well, I, I guess I always wanted to come here. What are you getting at? I'm not sure. If you really were in that hospital all that time... Miguel... I've lived longer than you, and I have thought more. Do you really think there are no larger answers to the small one we can supply? Larger answers? Oh, Miguel, I had thought you had gone again. I'm sorry, but I had to find out. Now you know, don't you? Oh, oh what a happy day that was. Miguel, there are answers for everything. Unfortunately, we know very few of them. Querido, do not be so troubled. Whatever that is confusing Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Wait, I can prove this. I can prove it. Si, senor. Hey, what room am I in? I want my bag. Uh, your bag, senor, is right here. Uh, senor Rodriguez. All right, all right, never mind. Never mind. My medical record. The doctor told me to take it with me when I left the States, just in case. Mitchell Campion admitted Paxton Memorial Hospital on April 30th. Underwent surgery and post-operative care for head and chest injuries. Discharged May 28th. That's three weeks ago.
I only know one thing. I have loved you before. I love you now. I always will. Always. That is all that matters to me. You again? You did not read far enough. During corrective surgery, the patient developed cardiac arrest. Adrenaline was used without response. A chest incision was made, and cardiac massage ultimately revived the patient. But for a period, an excess of four minutes, all respiratory and circulatory functions having entirely ceased, the patient was dead. Four minutes, four hours, four years. Who knows what time really is? We dream complete experiences in seconds, don't we? They say a drowning man relives his entire life in a moment. But what about Mitchell Campion? There have been many investigated cases of the miraculous transportation of persons or things over great distances in an instant. It's called teleportation. It has something to do with the still unsolved laws of time and space. All we know is that the facts of this story were carried by the news services to every newspaper in the country. 